IFC and Google project that Africa's internet economy has the potential to reach $712 billion, or 8.5% of the continent's GDP by 2050. This digital transformation, accelerated by COVID-19 pandemic, can boost economic growth, job creation, and poverty reduction. Reaching the African Union's 2030 goal of a universal and affordable internet can raise real GDP growth per capita by 5 percentage points annually and reduce poverty headcount by 2.5 percentage points per year. Basically, when we look at the world today, everything that we do is digitally inclined. People have embraced um, technology. People are using smartphones. People know how to operate smartphones with little education. Digital transformation matters for the Gambia now more than ever as recent events have revealed the importance of digital platforms in making people and businesses more accessible and efficient. In order to um, have a full-fledged uh, digital economy in this country, uh, we have to have uh, access number one. Number two, the infrastructure has to be there, the rollout uh, of broadband has to be accelerated. A lot of hurdles around infrastructure. Uh, a key one, I believe, is the issue of node redundancy uh, on, the, on our international cables. We only have the ACE cable at the moment, so I think that brings a lot of risk factors that limit the potential for certain uh, digitally enabled businesses as well. We collect so many data from our clients. So that data needs to be processed electronically, stored electronically, and be able to be shared with the relevant people. We need to leapfrog, and this will require that uh, we put in place very coherent, robust policies uh, that are friendly to private sector participation. Gambia, we see the kicker we do funny come on bank. So the gang is ne so neke with mobile money, the day easy come shop board them than go for am telling a jet sahalis do gao. So see up country bisa yum you're gonna have the benefit of mobile money. During COVID in the village, we were asked to stay at home. So it becomes so difficult for us to have access to our lecture notes through um, our telephone or our laptop um, based on the fact that the internet coverage was very low and the electricity supply was very minimal. I'm very, very optimistic about the future right now, especially in the Gambia. Um, I do see that there's lots of encouragement, there's lots of um, opportunities that are coming along. Um, we house um, lots of um, tech companies here um, that are startups, but aside from that, I can see that women are very more inclined into learning what's available for them. So more and more young people are going into innovation and um, in the Gambia today we're seeing startups coming up doing different things across sectors. Uh, the, the ICT sector is an important critical enabler um, within the overall framework of the National Development Plan, the NDP, and we have been working with the, the World Bank and other partners um, in 
supporting some of these uh, activities. As we highlight in our new country partnership framework, which is our strategy for engaging with the government over the next five years, digital transformation is catalytic, it's cross-cutting and key to government effectiveness and national competitiveness. With appropriate investments in human capital and policy interventions, digital technologies can contribute to job creation, poverty reduction and inclusive economic growth. And we stand ready as a committed partner to continue supporting the government in its journey towards digital transformation.